Good morning, Pals Learners. So today what we're going to do is we're going to work on making our cards. Now we've done this in November and December, and then we've done it kind of on and off in between, but what we didn't do is actually make you a video as to how to do that. When we were making it on site, we didn't use it as a card making software. What we used instead was we used Google Slides. So as with many of the videos that I do, we go into our nine dots once we are logged into Google and we scroll down until we find slides. Now slides is kind of like PowerPoint, it's Google's version of PowerPoint. And what they have here is they have a ton of different things. So you're gonna open up um, a blank presentation. Now sometimes when you go to open up your presentation, it may not come up as blank and have a plus sign. It may have a plus sign in the bottom corner over here and nothing on your screen at all. And that's okay. You just need to press the plus sign. That will get you in. And the plus sign is in these Google colors up here. So once you are in your slideshow, you are going to notice, hopefully, that this toolbar right here is pretty similar to the toolbar that we were using in our uh, word processing. So on this side over here, you have themes. This comes up right away for you guys. What it's saying is if you wanna make a full PowerPoint, what color do you wanna use? How do you want the slides to look? So this is kind of like picking a color. So if we scroll down here, we'll maybe find something that we like. Like, hmm, sad. This is taking longer than I thought. Well, let's pick, I'm going to pick this one because I don't think I've ever used this one before. So what you will notice right away, let me just move myself over here. I'm kind of in the way everywhere today. I'm going to go back down into the corner over here. On this side up here is a smaller version of the slide you're going to be working on here. Now what's important about that slide is that this slide shows you what would print or what will be sent because sometimes on this slide that you're working on, you can have um, parts of your pictures or parts of your words that go off and you can still see them here, but if they aren't showing up over here, then you're not going to see them when you send it to someone else. Okay, so let's say we want to do a card that says, you are the best. Um, and we're going to send this to someone. So what we're going to do is we're going to, first of all, I just started typing and I didn't say why. You can see on this slide, we have these boxes and it says click to add subtitle and the top one said click to add a title. So these are already predetermined slides where you're going to add a title. Now, if you didn't like that slide, you can click on the button up here slide. This one is new into this program and you can go down to apply layout. The apply layout just gives you different options that you can use where you've got different boxes already put in for you. Now you can put in your own options but these ones are already laid out for you. So if you were to do a whole PowerPoint presentation it's nice to have some already together we're just doing it as one card. So it's kind of like a postcard card that we're making. So we're going to say, you're the best. Thanks for everything. And again, to type in here, we're just going up until we get our cursor that is in the kind of line there. That line means that you can type. When you're on these boxes, they can get, can get really frustrating because sometimes you'll see these four arrows in all directions and that means you can move the whole box. So it's a great thing because you can organize this really nicely but it also means that sometimes when you're actually trying to just click in here to do some more typing you can start moving things around. So with these because they're text boxes you can write in them but then you might have to move them to make it centered or to make it look nice. So it's something that you kind of need to just know 
is going to happen. Now the other great thing about text boxes is you can change the size, change the shape, and this program, when you change the size and you change the shape, um, will actually help you line everything up really nicely. So if I go to the end over here, you've got an arrow that's at a diagonal. The diagonal arrow means that you're going to shrink or grow the whole box. So if I go down to the middle arrow, I'll see it's just going side to side. So I can actually just pull this in because I, thanks for everything's going to be what I want to say here. So now this box that says thanks for everything, I can grab onto with my four arrows and move it. And do you see that red line that comes up? That means it's centered perfectly between right and left. And if I move it up, I will get two lines, one going horizontal and one going vertically. And that means it is perfectly in the center of my box. So what's really nice is they'll line it up like that. What's also really cool, if we do the same thing with this one, and I can use the other side here and pull this in, I can line them up directly on top of each other so that everything lines up nice and beautifully. That is one of the parts of this program that I really, really like. Now, we're going to go through and we're going to highlight the text that we have inside and we're going to change the font. So I'm going to make it italic. So we're using this, uh, we're going to change the font by using our form, our toolbar here. So we can change it into lobster. I like that font a lot. We can make it bigger. Maybe we'll do it faster by doing it like this. And now it doesn't fit in our box anymore. So we just have to make our box a bit bigger so everything fits inside. This seems very simple when I do it, but it can be very frustrating when you're doing the resizing of the box. Take your time. It's, a, it's something that we need to work on and we need to practice and learn. So don't get frustrated about it. It is a skill and it's a mouse skill and it's one of those things that we need to learn. So the other thing I wanted to do was quickly show you how to insert an image. So you can change the text, inserting an image. Oftentimes, if I don't have a picture I already know I want to put in here, I'm going to search the web. So we're going to go up to our mountains, click on the arrow beside it. We can upload from our computer, meaning that we have a an image already there. Or if you're on your phone, you can connect directly to your photos. But doing this program on your phone would be a little bit hard just because it would be very small. Uh, and then you can search the web. So once you click the search the web, you get this bar coming up over here. And you're going to click on the images here. And I'm going to say thumbs up is what I want to look for. So you're the best. I'm going to click on this guy. So there's two ways that I can insert it. I can grab it and I can pull it over and it will insert in or I can click on the image and at the bottom of my screen there's a blue insert which I don't think you can actually see. So I can put this you're the best. I can have two of them, one in the top corner, one in the bottom corner. And once I've chosen mine, you can see that this has gone back to themes over here. So I'm going to go back to insert, search from web, and I'm going to look up maybe, uh, maybe a thank you, maybe not congratulations. And then I'm going to find an image that I like. Mm-hmm. I really like this one, but I don't think it goes with what we're doing. I'm going to put it in anyway. So I'm going to grab this, I'm going to put it in, and I'm going to see. So it came up with our black ink, so we can't change that at all. But it's kind of nice. I'm not sure I love it. So to delete it, you just have to have your blue line on the outside. Oh, I also did things without telling you. So 
When you want to move them, do you see how if I grab the corner, it makes the whole thing bigger or the whole thing smaller? Do you see how the line changes there on the outside? So that's by using the corner. If you take the middle, it'll squish it or stretch it in whichever way you do it. So it's, it's always better if you want to keep it the same to go with the corner. Now, I don't want this at all. So I need to have this four, uh, four arrows there, and then I can just click delete and it will go away. So I didn't really love that one. Maybe I'll put in this, thank you. You can see this creating images. It just takes a minute for it to come in. And that looks pretty nice, but I definitely want it to be bigger. So I'm gonna put it across and I'm gonna pull it up to the top and center it. So now it says, thank you, you're the best. What else could I put on here? Maybe a high five. Hmm, I like that. Oh, I like these guys, but will it work? Cause they're blue. Oh, not too bad. So if I put these guys, and so I've inserted the picture, and you can see when you insert the picture, sometimes it comes in big, sometimes it comes in small, and you just have to resize them. That's the beauty and the frustration of this program. So if I move this over here, let's say you're the best, and I've got my little high five and my thanks for everything, you'll see this red line coming up as I move these. So that red line coming up means that it's lined up perfectly to this emoji over here. So it's quite a cool program because it'll line everything up perfectly. So now the centers are lined up because this guy's taller. You know, it works out quite nice. So I'm gonna move this over here and I'm gonna move me over here. And this would be our card. And you can see up in this top corner here as well, it has what your card would look like. You could add more things, like if you wanted to add from and your name, you could add a text box right here. So this text box, if you click on it, you can come down and you'll see that instead of arrows, you just have a crosshair. So that crosshair, you can just drag as big as you want it, and then that will add text. So you can say from, House. Now the only problem with that is that the font is black, which is a little bit hard to see when it isn't um, on a white background. So you can click on this text color that we've learned before and click on our white. And then we can pick it up and move it over until it is perfectly in line. And ta-da! Now, now the question is, now I'm finished, now what do I do? So there's two different ways that you can share it. One, you can go to File, and you can download. And when you download, I would recommend downloading it into a PDF, because then things won't move around, or even a JPEG, and sending that out. Or, you can come over here to the Share button, and it says you need to name it first, so we can save it, and then, this shows you that you can share it with someone else who has a Gmail, um, a Gmail account. So then you could just email it right to them, which is kind of a nice option. So with this, you could just email it out to people and that would give you the option as well. You can also copy the link and send them the link. Okay, that is how to make a card and how we've been doing it here at the office. If you have any questions, let me know. Thanks, bye.